Hello, friends. I wanted to share something interesting. The remains of one of the oldest churches in the world discovered in Armenia. So we're just going to read through this because I'm a geek and I find it really interesting. The remains of one of the oldest churches in the world discovered in Armenia. An octagonal shaped structure dates from the mid 4th century CE, not long after the kingdom of Armenia is thought to have become the first Christian kingdom, which is another interesting thing to look at if you never have. An academic team working in Armenia has discovered the remains of the church of a church from the 4th century CE, making the structure one of the oldest churches in the world. It is the oldest yet found in ancient Armenia, considered the first kingdom of officially embraced Christianity. The remains of the octagonal shaped church were unearthed in Artaxa, Artaxata, Artax, Artaxata, Artaxata. I don't know. The ancient capital of the kingdom of Armenia by a joint team of archeologists from the University of Munster, the Armenian's National Academy of Sciences, who have been working at the site since September the University of Munster said in an October 11th press release. The discovery, quote, consists of an octagonal building with cruciform extensions, end quote. That, quote, corresponds to early Christian memorial buildings, end quote. The release said the structure was around 30 meters in diameter and had a simple mortar floor and terracotta tiles, which were probably gorgeous. The researchers also found marble fragments indicating the structure was lavishly decorated with imported marble. If you can imagine, like picture what you see in some of the old Catholic and Orthodox churches. I can only imagine that this was just gorgeous. A statement said in the cross shaped extensions, the researchers discovered the remains of wooden platforms, which were radiocarbon dated to the mid fourth century CE. This dating enabled the researchers to determine that the structure is the oldest archaeologically documented church in the country, sensational evidence for early Christianity in Armenia. And if you don't know anything about Christianity or the Christian history in Armenia, like I mentioned in the beginning, it's something to definitely look into. There is rich history in Armenia. I feel like it's something that is never talked about. It's not, it doesn't ever come up in articles that I've read. It doesn't come up in any historical things that you really read that are common to read, but there is a rich Christian history coming out of Armenia. And it's really, really interesting. So it's something to look into if you're weird, like I am the now ruined city of, here we go again, Artaxata, Artaxica, Artaxata, located on a hilltop in Southern Armenia, along the border with Turkey was found in, in Oh my God, was founded in 176 BCE. Good Lord. And ultimately served as the capital of the kingdom of Armenia for almost six centuries, the, re the researchers said. This photo shows the Artaxata hilltop with the Kor Virap monastery on the left, the Mount Ararat in the background, and an image released on October 11th, 2020. Four, the same hilltop, which boasts a spectacular view of Mount Ar Ar Araratat, just across the Turkish border, houses Bor Virap, an ancient and still active monastery that is also a pilgrimage site. That's pretty cool. This does appear to be a significant discovery and credible claim by well-qualified archaeologists, said Professor Jody Magnus, a classical and biblical archaeologist and religious historian who teaches at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill in an email exchange with the Times of Israel. The discovery of this church makes sense since the Kingdom of Armenia was the first state to adopt Christianity as its official religion in the early 4th century. Armenia is still extremely Christian, in case you did not know. She said, and noted that at around the same time, Armenians established a presence in Jerusalem which they have maintained until today. And there is some conflict there, has been at least historically some conflict there. Although rare elsewhere, ancient octagonal churches are not uncommon in the Eastern Mediterranean, including the Church of the Katsima, the Church of the Seat of Mary, 5th century CE, 
located between Jerusalem and Bethlehem, which was excavated by Rena Avner of the Israel Antiquities Authority, Magnus said. There is another octagonal church dating from around 500 CE in Caesarea and at the Church of the Nativity of Bethlehem, commissioned by Constantine in the early 4th century. The grotto originally was enclosed with an octagon, she said. In addition, the Dome of the Rock, 7th century CE, is octagonal, she noted, as is the chapel at the heart of Charlemagne's place, 9th century CE, which is an inner octagon surrounded by a 16-sided ambulatory and still stands today. I could not tell you what happened to this building type later in history, Magnus said. There may well have been other early Christian places of worship, but they have not been identified in the archaeological record. Remember that Christianity was outlawed in the Roman world before 313 CE, so Christians had to worship in secret. For example, in private houses, which we all know and happens somewhere today, still, some places today still. The Kingdom of Romania at the time, a client state of the Romans, formally became Christian in 301 CE, when, according to legend, Gregory the Illuminator converted the Armenian king Tiridates Tiridates, I think, to Christianity in Artaxatea, in Artaxata, Arta not good at pronunciation. If you're with us on the live streams, you already know this. The researcher noted in their press release, this was before the Council of Nicaea in 325 CE, which codified and streamlined what had been diverse Christian tenets, and also before the Roman Emperor Constantine's 313 CE Edict of Milan which outlawed the prosecution of Christians and made Christianity a recognized religion in the empire. Therefore, Armenia is considered the first Christian kingdom, and the Armenian Orthodox Church is one of the oldest Christian denominations. There are also a significant number of Armenian Catholics who have distinct traditions but owe allegiance to the Holy See in Roman. The Holy See in Rome. Armenia already boasts what some consider the world's oldest cathedral, the not even going to try, I'm going to try, Ek, Ekmiadiz, Ekmiadzin, Ekmiadzin, I don't know, cathedral built in 301 CE in the city of Good God, in the city of Vaghar Shafat, Vaghar Shafat, around the time of King Tiridates' conversion, which was mentioned prior. But it is unclear which structure holds the title of the earliest church in many locations predates the newly discovered Artaxata building. I'm catching on unless I'm saying it wrong to begin with. And then I'm just getting good at saying certain words improperly. Ancient Christian houses of prayer included the Dura Europos house church in Syria, which is thought to have been a private home converted to a Christian house of worship in the mid third century CE. The Megiddo church in Israel, also dating from the early 3rd century and thought to have been similarly repurposed, is another early contender, as is the Ad Akaba Church in Jordan from the late 3rd century, thought to be the earliest purpose-built Christian house of worship yet discovered. I don't know if it's just me, but I love this stuff. I find it super interesting. And there are a few more of these that I I, I'm going to go through because some interesting discoveries have happened recently. If you don't know, we do several live streams per week. We do them at youtube.com slash live Bible study. You can get to all of that. If you join Discord, there's a link to the Discord in the description of the video. And then when you join Discord, just come to the events tab. And then you can see we do on Thursday night. That's an Apocrypha study. We do on Sunday night. That's a Canon study. And then we do Tuesday nights, which is a live topic discussion that everybody votes on the topic out of Discord, and then we discuss that topic openly. People come on and talk with their voice on stream, and it's a great time. So come join Discord, awesome people, super smart people. If you're weird like me, then you're weird like us. I love you. Have a beautiful evening.